All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Here we go. So we're going to be in video two of our case study. We're building out a new website. So these next two steps, um, you could interchange these right with the getting the keywords and the site structure. Uh, you could go and we're going to use ChatGPT to do that. You're going to want to watch the next video. We're going to do that. But right now we're going to go and uh, get our keyword ideas, assign categories and so forth. Because most of the time that I've used site structure over here, it basically gives you a blog. So you're going to have a blog. And so I'm going to show you how we're going to get like four or five categories from these keywords and then we'll just assign them um, to the blog and then we'll have other pages and site structure going on right here. So you don't want to miss that video, but this is going to be fun. We're going to get into the reverse engineering and the com competition analysis and getting our keywords. I'm going to show you something that you've probably never seen anybody else do. We're going to really, really go at this in kind of a newer, new way. Uh, so we're not completely copying a website. We're going to do our own thing, but we are going to use their website uh, for motivation um, to start our website. Okay, so let's go ju uh, jump in. So in the last video you saw, we were in Niche Finder. This is a really fun tool to use, um, you know, just uh, pretty kind of just keeps it real simple. And you're able to find, um, there's 12,000 sites in here right now um, that you're able to go and just find sites that are getting a ton of traffic that have low uh, domain authority. And you're able to go in and find, and then they don't even have that many pages right here. Now this might have seemed like a lot of pages when we were writing content and have hiring writers and spending a fortune on websites to get 200 articles that could take you a year or two to get to that point and now we can do this basically overnight with um, artificial intelligence because the quality factor of the ai that we're going to be using is so high that uh, we're able to do this virtually overnight and that's what makes this really really fun and so uh, i really like the metrics on this gardener basics it's an amazon site it's a media vine um, site as well uh, it's gardening um it's actually in a popular niche, so I don't know how we're going to be able to get rankings or not, but that's what's fun about doing the case study live right in front of you. Um, and then it has a low domain authority and that's getting a ton of traffic and it's um, it's only like a year to two years old. So super cool stuff. So we're going to go and we open that up and then we can see the other competition, but we're going to take the um, site right over here. Uh, we have it opened up. I'm going to go and grab just the URL. And I told you I was going to be using a different tool. Now, normally I would use uh, just to do some simple keyword research, I would use uh, Insta keywords, which a lot of you have picked that tool up. It's really fun on the fly to get uh, new keyword ideas and so forth. It's a great tool. But when we're doing um, a full competition site analysis, we need an SEO powerhouse tool. Normally, I would use SEMrush for that. Normally, I would use Ahrefs. But this, in this case study, we're going to be using a different tool. I'm going to be using SE Ranking. Um, this is uh, probably one of those ones that you would think of. Um, that is up there with um, SEMrush, Ahrefs, Ubersuggest, and then I would probably put this in the same category as all of them. It's got a powerhouse of all the different tools. They've got, um, I believe they've got billions of keywords in here as well. So you're going to be able to get some really good keyword research going on in here. So we're going to go click on the keyword research uh, tool over here. I'm just going to throw that site in. The uh, gardenerbasics.com. Uh, we're going to also need to find a domain name. Um, but we're going to go over here and it's going to go and analyze the site for us. It's going to tell us the traffic that it's getting, the 59,000 keywords, and they're up as well right there um, that they have as well, the domain trust 19 and so forth. So um, you can see this curve right here. So this is a really new site, just 2000. It looks like they started it in September of 2021. And it looks like it's been climbing. It's on a little bit of a down curve right now, but it's literally, this is the growth you want to see. I'm going to replicate this site. That's the growth curve you want to see right there. So really, really good stuff. But now I'm going to show you how we're going to use this tool, right? Uh, I'm going to leave a link below to SE ranking. It's really, really powerful. We're able to go and do keyword research. We've got a full keyword research module. I will be doing a review on this software um, upcoming. I've uh, been requested to do this review for like over a year and I've just never signed up, um, use the tool and do a re review on it. But I'm finally getting to that. So I think it'd be fun to use this new tool right here. Um, um, that um, I believe a lot of you also use this tool. 
um, at some point, um, at one point, I believe it was on an LTD, but it's way uh, farther from that now. It's got um, um, a couple million uh, visits per month to their site. So it's a, it's a pretty big tool. Um, so I will be doing a review on that coming up later as well. Okay, so we are gonna go and now I'm gonna come through and look at the organic traffic research. I'm gonna do the drop down right here. And I'm gonna go to pages and we're gonna go over here and you're gonna be able to see that this is doing a lot of what you're gonna be able to do in those other big powerhouse tools. But um, in SE ranking, it's half the price of the of getting into those other tools that are over $100 a month. Uh, I believe that I'm paying $49 a month for um, the beginner plan on SE ranking and it's definitely going to get the job done for us. All right, so we're gonna come right here in pages. So you could see that that was a 206 pages, but we know that when we look at indexed pages, uh, this can mean all kinds of stuff. Tags get indexed as pages. Um, there's duplicate pages, um, all that. So it's really hard to find exactly how many um, real pages that are actually ranking and actually doing something for your website. And so this could be a uh, big number and skewed. I believe what we're looking at right here are going to be all of the pages that are getting any kind of traffic, right? So we've got the traffic share, total traffic that they're um, estimated to be getting from those um, articles, total traffic cost. This is what it would cost them to actually get that kind of traffic. And then keywords that um, each uh, of these articles are ranking. Some of these are ranking for 2000 keywords, um, which is insane. So these are all the articles that we really want to focus on on this first go around, right? So what I'm going to do is that it's um, 106 uh, to get started with, right? So all I'm going to do is just go up here and export this. I'm going to say Excel and I'm going to say export, right? So it's going to export this for us. We're going to open this bad boy up real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and expand real quick. And then I'm going to enable editing. And then right away, I'm going to go file. I'm going to save this. All right, so I made a new folder gardening right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this right there. And then um, for whatever reason, they export in 97 to 2003. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the current version of Excel and push save. I do like that it's formatted um, with a little bit of formatting, which is nice. So we have all the information that we want to look at, right? We can hover over here and we can see there's 124 keywords right there. Uh, we have our title right here. That's going to be important. And then what I'm going to do is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and insert, and then I'm going to go ahead and write a new article title right here. Um, blog category. I'm going to say AI writer um, that I'm going to use. I'm going to track that as well. I'm going to say if it's written and then published or scheduled. Okay. So we have our new ones right here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and put that in a different color. If we can go like that and then make the text black. Okay. So those are going to be um, some things that we're going to be filling in right here. And we're going to do, I'm just going to do about 50 at a time for now. Because ChatGPT, if you do a uh, hundred or more, um, you end up having to push the continue button, and then uh, it just it just it ends up getting kind of annoying and frustrating. So I've learned to just do a little do it in chunks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple different things. Um, you'll have to bear with me uh, on um, my prompting and so forth. So I'm going to copy these right here, and I'm going to go back in um, to we're going to go into ChatGPT. And I'm going to say something like, I have a bunch of article titles. I need you to come up with five. Actually, no, we're not gonna do that right now. We're actually gonna say, I have a gardening website. Please give me the best and rel most, most relevant um, categories that I should have on my website for my blog, something like that. Right? So let's just see what it gives. Please give me the top five. And right now we're going to assume that this is going to basically be an outdoor, um, an outdoor, uh, gardening site. Cause I want to come back over here and go to, they have plants indoor and outdoor. Um, how many indoor blogs do they have? Yeah, so they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they only have ten of those articles that have anything to do with um, indoor. Really, it's an outdoor gardening site, which is good. That's what I thought. 
So what I'll do is I'll copy these because it'll be nice to see the category um, description. And so what I'll do is I'll come back over to our spreadsheet and I'll just make a new sheet and I'll rename this um, categories. And then I'll go ahead and paste this in. I'm actually just gonna paste, uh, nope, the text in there. So those are our, our categories. Um, and then what we can do is say, give me just the cat without the description. And there we go. So here's our, our main categories. Uh, looks pretty good. Plant care, gardening basics, organic gardening, landscaping, and gardening projects. And we're letting AI do this for us, right? So we're going to go ahead and let AI decide what it's going to do for us in this uh, respect. So we have our categories right here. Okay, so we have our main categories. Now what I want to do is go back over here and I'm going to say we have, um, I'm just going to take the first um, 50. I'm going to copy those, right? And I'm going to say I have 50 blog post titles. Please. We're going to try to do this in one, um, one prompt. We'll see what we get, okay? So Okay, so I need to go back and get those article titles. Um, I'm going to copy and I think we're doing 50 at a time. I'm going to paste these in. We're going to see what this prompt can do if it will actually be able to handle this. I said, I have 50 blog post titles. Re please return a spreadsheet with column A, re rewriting the blog post title and in column B, assign it to the most appropriate category out of these plant care, gardening basics, organic gardening, landscaping, gardening, pro uh, garden projects. Now here's the list of articles and then I pasted about 50 article topics right here. Okay. Um, there's some lines right there. I'm not sure. Do, do, do. Why is there a line? Oh, I don't know why it's because, um, the version that they had over here, we're missing the, but we'll see. I think that the AI will still be able to rewrite some, uh, rewrite them pretty well. And it's not on all of them. So let's go ahead and see what we're going to get over here. It's column A, column B, uh, looks like it just magically did it very easily. And this is how I use ChatGPT. And this is what I was talking about in my previous videos. This is how you use ChatGPT to get the job done for you really, really fast. Um, sometimes it misses that last one right there, but um, nonetheless, we have these right here. It's going to stay in the same order. We're gonna go ahead and grab all these. We're gonna copy it and look how cool that was. And then we're gonna come back over here. We have our new title. I'm gonna right click and paste right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and expand this. So we have our new title, Jericho right here, the complete guide to Rose of Jericho, the complete guide to Rose of Jericho. So it didn't really rewrite that, that's fine. The best gardening tool sets for every gardener, the best gardening tools for every gardener. So. It didn't rewrite them, but guess what? It did assign them to the appropriate, um, to an appropriate category, but we're going to go ahead and reprompt. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And this is what happens sometimes. Um, rewrite the following blog titles and stay in order. Boom. And we'll just let it do its thing real quick. And that's why I use 3.5 right now. It's just way, way faster than uh, version four. We're gonna come back over here and we're going to paste that in. And, ah, oh, dang it. One last thing, please do not use. Okay, so we have them. Uh, the eight reasons yellow leaves on, for yellow leaves on roses, the eight reasons for yellow leaves, um, the pink princess. It is not rewriting them for some reason. Okay, perfect. So I've prompted it a few more times. I think that we're onto something here. Um, it rewrote them and then I just asked it to shorten them um, again. So copy, come back over here and we're gonna paste these in. So this is the kind of work that you're gonna put in at the beginning. So yeah, the complete guide to Rose of Jericho, the magic of the Rose of Jericho, a complete guide, right? Uh, the best gardening tools uh, sets for every green thumb, the best gardening tool sets for every gardener, um, all right. If there's a will, there's a way. Um, I started a new chat. You can see it's finishing up. I'm also using chat GPT for this time. It's taking a little bit longer to write, uh, but I'm getting a lot better results right now, um, with it following my instructions for some reason, weird reason. This is the first time I've ever had a hard time with it actually doing any kind of rewriting. Um, uh, but in this case it's doing, it seems like it's doing a really, really good job. 
and I'll scroll up and just show you what I wrote. So I basically wrote, rewrite the following blog post titles, try to keep the meaning and keyword, but change just slightly. Stay in exact order and do not number. Here are the blog post titles. And I put those in there and this is what we're getting, okay? So it looks uh, pretty good and it looks like it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. I'm gonna copy those, come back over to our spreadsheet once again and paste these in. And then I will also do, it's wanting to paste it all into <laughs> one box now. Um, all right, this is just not working guys. Be right back. All right, so I just went and pasted them into a notepad. It got rid of any kind of weird coding that it had. And then we were able to paste it in here and just doing a spot check uh, right here. Top gardening tool sets for gardeners at every level. All right here, and then we have the seven best soil moisture meters for your green thumb, seven superior soil me moisture meters. So we're, it's not the same title. So we've rewritten all these titles. It's staying in order, the beginner's guide to essential garden tools and garden tools for beginners. So um, it stayed in um, starting cucumber seeds indoors and kick starting cucumber seeds indoors a simple. Uh, so uh, we are missing the um, blog categories, but check this out. We have all of our blog categories right here. Um, I need to just go and assign these right here, but you can see now how this process is better than ever before. We have a bunch of keywords that are already researched for us. We know that they had success with another website. We have rewritten them, so we're not copying. Our AI is going to completely write new content, so it's not gonna copy any of the content. So we're not copying the site, but we are following the structure of the website. We even decided to create our own categories right here and assign these keywords. I'm gonna go and finish this process up for the rest of these right here and then you're going to want to join me for the next video where we're going to talk about the site structure and start building out the um, building out the site and kind of just getting the dummy site up and running um, before we actually are going to get into creating some of the content so it's going to get even more fun more exciting uh, make sure to like subscribe and comment so you can be in the drawing for this week's giveaway of wordcraft ai writer and so you don't miss out on my next uh, AI niche website case study uh, video. I'll see you in the next video.